The main picture is a view of the Pyrenees Occidentalis. The far right is a scarce copper butterfly and the bottom shows an Apollo butterfly. This wildlife watching vlog is a little bit different to usual. It's just telling the story of one walk that I took east of Echo. It was a, it was a long walk into the mountains. I was walking continually from kind of six o'clock in the morning till about five o'clock in the evening and it was an amazing day so here's the view at the start of the day I'm normally very honest with my photos and videos so if I say something was taken at a particular time it was in this case I've filled in a few gaps with videos and photos from other points during my stay but they are authentically telling the story of the trip and things that I saw at the time This is a short-toed eagle. Feeds on things like snakes and reptiles. I once saw one carrying a snake and I've spoken to other wildlife watchers that have seen, seen similar and I even met somebody who saw one take a snake. Sounds pretty amazing to me. This is a linnet, so some people are going to go, no, it's just a little brown bird. I quite like seeing all the different types of wildlife. Here's a group of horses that I saw in the valley towards the start of the walk. And as the day progressed, it became warm enough to generate thermals so that the vultures could start circling. Now mixed in here is a bearded vulture. The bearded vulture is the one currently nearest the bottom of the screen, circling round, starting to head towards the top of the screen. Has a slightly longer tail, is slightly sw looks slightly smaller than the others, but I think that's just because of the camera angle and stuff. So I continued east and found myself in why I like to think, well, I think it was the definition of a hidden valley. So it's a valley that you can only reach by walking, you can't drive to it. Here's a wheat here. And I can hear Pyrenean cowbells in the background. Okay, here I'm zoomed in on a group of alpine chuff. I always think they look more butterfly-like than red-billed chuff. And then, if I zoom out a bit, they can make these shapes as they're, s as they're flying in groups. For me, this is a common sight when I'm in the Pyrenees. I often see these. I might have to look through binoculars, but if I scan above, say, the cliff tops, I'll often spot a group of alpine chuff that might not have otherwise been visible. As I continued around the walk, here's some butterwort on the wet rock. If you look carefully, towards the top is some, some ramonda. We'll, we'll see more of that later. And butterwort is insectivorous, and you can see there are some insects that have been caught on its sticky leaves, thought to be a source of nutrients. And I just thought the views continued to be really amazing. Because I am just focusing in on this, on just the one walk in this vlog. I am sort of throwing in a few more photos than I normally would, just trying to give a feeling for the walk. I saw this red peeled chuff as I was, I would kind of circled round following a series of valleys, but eventually I was forced to start getting higher. And that red peeled chuff watched me as I was going up higher towards the saddle point in the mountains. And Heading up towards that saddle, I saw quite a few butterflies, including this mountain ringlet. I'm calling it a mountain ringlet. Um, this is a female chalk hill blue, the underside. And this is the upper side of a female chalk hill blue. And in a moment, we'll see a male chalk hill blue. So I'm committing to what species that is. The mountain ringlet earlier, that was, they're very difficult to identify. I'm not quite sure what species that was. There's about another 20 seconds of butterflies if you can bear it. 
This is a meadow brown on horse mint. Horse mint, I commonly see that in the Pyrenees, and meadow brown I commonly see all over Europe, including in the Pyrenees. And here's a video of a scarce copper. Again on what looks like horse mint. I can't get bored of seeing scarce coppers, I think they're beautiful. And then I saw three groups of these, three groups of Pyrenean Izard. At this point I was very high, there were a few other people that came this high. But we would all generally stick to the footpath because it was very remote and going off the footpath was very dangerous. I may have accidentally done it once and managed to make it safely back to the path. And um, which means that I think these Izard can fairly comfortably graze as long as they're a reasonable distance from the footpath without being disturbed. Because that was through a high powered zoom lens that was what I was I took that video. So now I'm right on the top, I'm on the saddle. I just think the view carries on being absolutely amazing. I love it. In many places the grass is surprisingly short here. Oh this is um Aringo, which is a kind of, let's call it a mountain species. It's not exactly, but it's pretty close. Ah, here we go. This is the Ramonda again, which is a Pyrenean endemic. So it's only found in the Pyrenees. And, oh, mm, maybe this is why the grass is quite short. And there were significant sections where I didn't see very many flowers at all. Cows are really good, they have giant tongues, big feet, which means they do a lot of destructive work. And if that kind of destructive impact is happening on the habitat, it means that flowers can do really well because they are... Oh, this is an Apollo butterfly. I'll keep waffling on, but check it out. Wow, this must be my best view ever of an Apollo butterfly. Special mountain species of butterfly. La large, thought to be so it can survive the cold and its caterpillars take years to grow into adults. I th oh, wow. Anyway, uh, yeah, so the cow do a lot of damage, but that means that plants which just grow very quickly and f put all their energy into growing flowers and just seeds tend to do better because the ones that try and invest in building stronger plants, they just keep getting knocked down, which means it can be very good for flowers, but if there's too many cows, just all the flowers keep getting eaten. If you want to read more about my days exploring, check out my blog, Link in the description.